Now at 11, BART taking action to staff up its stations. Tonight, it's rolling out an emergency safety plan after a string of violent attacks. Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Ken Bastida. It's a new order for BART. Patrol officers will now work 10 hour days, six days a week. KPIX 5's Chris and Ayers reports that's just the start of a $28 million push to help riders feel safe. BART says for at least the next three weeks, they'll have officers on mandatory emergency staffing, upping security at a time when crime is up and confidence in the BART system is down. BART rolled out its big plan for fighting a rising problem with crime today. We've had far too many incidents rate lately, and what we're hearing from our riders is that they want us to do more and they expect us to do more. So they are 20 extra officers on shift today, manning platforms, roaming trains. All of our officers are riding trains and they're focusing on uh, those stations with higher rates of crime. Stations in San Francisco and Oakland, though some riders told our Phil Mateer they hadn't noticed an increased police presence. I can't say I've seen a lot of security. I only seen them like twice of me riding to BART all summer. BART says beefed up security is not their only solution. They're proposing a $28 million plan to the Board of Directors Thursday that includes more fare inspectors, new call boxes on platforms, a crackdown on panhandling, and a switch to a a high tech digital surveillance system that could identify trouble when it happens and zero in on problematic behavior. We think that's going to help adding cameras where maybe there's not where, where there's a dead zone right now. What you won't see is an officer at every station. Bart says they simply don't have enough cops for that and what they do have will be effective. An officer in uniform standing in a station is absolutely a deterrent to, to crime. It's a deterrent from low level things like fare evasion. Uh, to all levels of crime. Though at West Oakland Station today, the presence of officers did not stop this apparent fare evader. In Oakland, Kristen Ayers, KPIX 5.